What's up guys? Welcome back to That Horror Couple. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Rob. And today we are here to do an awesome review for an awesome new film, The Barn Part 2. Oh, a long-awaited sequel. Yes. Weren't they like, you know, trying to do this for a while and then yes. like, you know, like the whole world shut down so it was like delayed. Yeah. And then like, you know, the fans got together. It was like, you know, we all, they all did the Indiegogo mm -hmm. thing and mm -hmm. here it is. Yeah, here we are. So we are so excited to talk about and it And what a film I enjoyed. Oh yeah. Awesome film. Because with the barn, the mm -hmm. door's always open for a sequel. Yeah. Because, right? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that the expression? Yeah. Like, weren't you raised in a barn? Close the damn door. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a real thing? Yeah. I'm asking you. You're the southern. Yes. Okay. She's from the south. <laughs> The Halloween ban is now lifted in Helen's Valley and the sorority girls of Gamma Tai Psi place Michelle in charge of their annual haunted house. Unfortunately for Michelle, some uninvited trick-or-treaters from the past come knocking. Directed by Justin M. Seaman, starring Lexi Drips, Diana Prince, Linnea Quigley, Doug Bradley, Ari Lehman, and Joe Bob Briggs. Lloyd Kaufman as like the mayor. Oh yeah, Lloyd Kaufman too. Or whatever he was. Yeah, he was the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> we, used to see, that, we could kick off our life with that we actually get to see a lot of familiar faces Dude, in this movie the cameos were top notch yeah uh, i didn't know drew Mar Mar marvick was a boy scout yeah that was really awesome to see drew uh director of pool party massacre for those of you who don't know him check out pool party massacre actually if you haven't seen it it's awesome drew's the man yeah no he's super nice and if i was camping in the woods i would want him with me because he yeah. probably knows survival techniques and yeah. how to build a fire to true keep, keep me safe true <laughs> he probably does yeah, and we also had um, Doug Bradley, uh, Pinhead, in this movie. That was really cool. It was cool to see him, uh, his character in, like, a different form. Mm -hmm. And, like, he's basically, at the one point, he's telling, like, the legend of what happened a few years back at the barn. Yeah. The folklore of mm -hmm. it. Like, the whole, like, pre, the whole pre-story. Mm -hmm. The prequel. Pre no, yeah, you're right. The, the original, yeah. The, the previous story. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. he, he's, like, he, and it was cool to see him in, like, a, like, a, like, a, like a grandfather Like a grandfather role? character. Mm -hmm. Or almost like a Sam Loomis. So like, yeah. God damn you, Michael. <laughs> and we get to see our favorite uh, Joe, Bob, and Darcy from Dude. The Last Drive-In on Shudder. How awesome was that? That was so cool. Darcy's actually in a lot of the movie, which is really cool. Because I thought she was only going to have a small cameo. But we get to see a lot of her. So I'm really, I was all, really excited. Darcy's awesome. Mm -hmm. Her personality rocks. Mm -hmm. Her presence is amazing. Mm -hmm. And like she's so beautiful. And she plays like a college girl in a sorority at this in this movie. Yeah. And let me tell you, if uh, Darcy was in college, I I would have went. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I would have been there because yeah. I just want to learn. Okay. Look, uh -huh. unfortunately, I turned out to be not college material. <laughs> Um, but it worked out because I'm on YouTube. Yeah. And then we get to see Joe Bob, and he's like jo driving Joe in the movie. <laughs> he runs the drive-in in the movie, which how, is so cool. How perfect was that to see him yeah. at the drive-in? And I believe he gave the cop, like, uh, drive-in totals. Yes, he did. No, that was really cool. <laughs> I love that scene. That was great. That, that, that was such a good scene. And that was... What I loved about that is that that is only something that, like, the fans would pick up mm -hmm. on and the fans would enjoy. This movie was totally made for the fans. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely another like for me. If we're talking about our likes of the film, the cameos and how yes. this is just a total, like... It's a movie it's a made for the fans. Love letter to slasher fans. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we oh, speaking of like a love letter to slasher fans, we get Linnea Quigley back from yeah. Night of the Demons: Return of the Living Dead. She was in the first film, and she I feel like she has a little bit more screen time in this. A little one, bit which more. Is no, awesome. no, no, no. She has a lot more. Yeah, a lot more. Like, yeah. Dude, she's like super Linnea in this yeah. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's kicking ass in this she's one. Killing zombies. She, she's a badass with a chainsaw, mm -hmm. and she's like out of the way. She's cutting shit up. She, yeah. She, she's. She's badass Linnea. This she is, was so cool. Dude, this is one of my favorite, like, Linnea movies. Yeah. Like, probably. Same. Linnea rocks in this one. No, dude. she's great. Like, yeah. And, and for any fan of Linnea, she, like, rises and shines in this one. Kills it. So, Linnea, she rules. She's awesome. And then we have Ari Lehman, who is also the radio host in the first one. He's back in this one. He's still playing Dr. Rock, which is really cool. He was awesome in the film. We get to see him kicking some zombie ass as well. The which original is Jason. Cool. Yeah. I love Michelle being our final girl again. Mm -hmm. She was awesome in the first film. I really love the chemistry between her and Sam. Oh my God, it's so cute. Their relationship, how we just watch their relationship take the next level in the first film. And this film opens up with her, with us finding out that Sam and Josh have actually been missing.
missing for three years. Yeah. And it's very sad. And I was like, what? Like, I didn't know that they were missing. So, so I was really sad about that. But I really love, like I said, Michelle being back, being our final girl. And the chemistry she has with Sam when we finally get to see him again. I also like how, like, um, they stuck true to the story with mm -hmm. the sequel. How... In, in the first one, they summon these demons mm -hmm. that came out of the barn. Mm -hmm. The same demons are back this time around. Mm -hmm. but in this, a barn. Yeah, and they're at the mm -hmm. barn, but this time, what's the reason? They need a college, They need to raise money for like a college fundraiser. Yeah, so it's during Hall on Halloween, so yeah. they're doing a haunted house. So Darcy, yeah. Darcy and her fraternity, mm -hmm. they set up like a fundraiser, and they build their own haunted house. Mm -hmm. And just, as a horror fan, that's awesome. Just the way yeah. they built the house and mm -hmm. the walkthrough and like... Like, I don't know. I, I, I just love that whole vibe. It's very October, very... Uh, very spooky. Very cool, It, yeah. like, sets up for the perfect slasher film. What what more could you want than a slash than a B-horror film, like, slasher taking place on Halloween night at a haunted barn? I mean, come on. Yeah, so the, the location and the <laughs> vibe and the yeah. atmosphere is definitely a like for us. We also got some new demons. Yeah, um, swine and screecher. It's like a pig and, like, this bird thing. And <laughs> this bird thing, yeah. she says. <laughs> They're re no, but they're really cool because they're really creepy looking. So I really enjoyed the the new demons that we got, and then we got the three original demons again. We had the miner, the scarecrow, and the jack o' lantern. They were the three, you know, demons of Halloween. So yeah. it was really cool to see them. It, My personal favorite is like the the jack o' lantern guy because I just love jack o' lanterns. It was cool to see them, but like mm -hmm. they looked like kind of like better this time. Yeah, like, like there was more put. There's more to them. Mm -hmm. Like, almost like they, like, did the effects a little... A little better, like, yeah. Maybe they spent, 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 blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> they spent a little more time on the effects, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, it was cool to see them. And I, I liked how we got, like, new additions and mm -hmm. new, new creatures. And mm -hmm. also, uh, when they attacked people, those... The, the victims became zombies. I know. That was really cool. So they, they were, like, using their blood to make new creatures and all the people that they killed became zombies so the people in the haunted house that were, were pretending to be zombies actually became zombies yeah and it was a cool thing that was really awesome I, and i will say for this sequel they definitely upped it with the gore mm -hmm. there's more gore than the original yes um the practical effects definitely they went they went above mm -hmm. the original with the practical effects and the boobs are yes. fantastic. <laughs> There's a lot of boobs. A lot of boobs in this one. And yeah. I, more boobs than the original. Yeah, true. Fa fa and uh, fantastic boobs. Yes. And that is definitely a like in the Rob category. Yeah. <laughs> and I really love that even though we don't get a lot of them, I love that we got to see Sam and Josh again in this movie. Yeah. So Because I really like those two guys from the first film. I thought they had great chemistry. And they were just great, like, two leads in the last film. And I really love seeing them in this one. It was cool. Because the whole film, I was looking for them. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I guess they couldn't get them. And then, like, yeah. it was cool finally to see them. So that kind of connected the whole thing. And, uh, yeah, again, it, it connected the two films. It mm -hmm. was a callback. And it was, it was nice to see him again, of course. As far as dislikes of the film, I would have to say um, Sam and Josh, like, not being in the film as much was a big dislike for me because I really like those two characters mm -hmm. from the first film and the fact that literally Josh is in one scene at the very end and Sam actually dies. He comes back just to get killed and I'm like, why? Why? I like Sam. I was so sad. I was like, please. No, but we got zombie Sam yeah. at the end. So yeah, that, but I was just sad because that cool that's just my, in, in a way it's like kind of a like because I like the character so much. I was sad what happened. So Yeah, I mean, I don't, have any dislikes but mm -hmm. i would say like watch the first barn movie and if you're into it definitely check this out yeah. so you know what you're getting into and you know what style you, you're about to watch because if you're into the first barn you will like this mm -hmm. can't be uh, separate like it has like a low budget feel mm -hmm. um it has like a, a but it has like a pure passion feel yeah. where you could tell they they this was made by horror fans, mm -hmm. and it was made out of pure love for the genre. So, yes. But just, yeah, as long as you're aware of what you're watching, I don't think there will be any dislikes. And, um, yeah, maybe if we got a little more of the main characters from the first one, it would have been cool. As far as final thoughts of the film, um, I really enjoyed this sequel. I love, love, love the first one, and this one was so enjoyable. So I'm going to have to give this one an 8 out of 10. Ooh, that's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. That's good. My final, You know what? <sighs> I think I agree. Okay, okay. I'm going to give the first one a 7.5. I like this one a little better. It's hard to say because I like mm -hmm. both of them. I like the 80s vibe of the first one, but this is early 90s vibe. But I think they went above and beyond with the practical effects, the gore, everything. Yeah. This one was a little more wild, I yeah. think, than the first one. Yeah. Okay. And so I give it an 8. I give the first one about a 7.5. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, it's an 8, dude. And yeah. When I say it's an 8, 
it's an eight. That, yeah, that's pretty, it's an awesome. That's pretty movie. damn good. Definitely check this out. It's very, very good. Yeah, we got our Blu ray on Amazon. So if you guys want to check out The Barn Part 2, order your Blu ray from Amazon. Are you plugging Amazon? <laughs> are we an affiliate? No, no, not. <laughs> I'm just saying that's Amazon's what we got. Amazon's like, ours. who the fuck are they? Yeah. <laughs> So if you guys have seen The Barn Part 2, please comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on the film. <laughs> um, make sure you're hitting that bell to be notified about all of our future trailer reactions, horror movie reviews. Um, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Once again, I'm Kaylee. And I'm Rob. And we hope you see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.